Repair Clinic encourages you to perform this procedure safely. In this video, we will show one or more of these icons to alert you when to use caution. Before you replace the on-off switch on your leaf blower, make sure the engine has cooled and the switch itself is in the off position. Remove the wire and boot from the spark plug. Use a 3 quarter inch socket or a spark plug wrench to help loosen and remove the plug. Now use a T25 Torx bit screwdriver to unthread the mounting screws, securing the engine cover. With the screws removed, carefully detach the cover. Next, detach the throttle linkage from the trigger and remove the trigger. Remove the on-off switch from the handle and disconnect the two wires. Prepare the new on-off switch for installation by transferring the terminal plate from the old switch to the new one. To do this, first disconnect the wire. Then use a Phillips head screwdriver to remove the screw securing the knob. Lift off the knob and remove the plate. Align the plate on the new switch. Position the new knob and secure it with the screw. Attach the wire to the plate. Now connect the new switch wires to the appropriate terminals. And seat the new switch in the handle with the stop side facing the rear. Make sure the wires are secured in the grooves on the handle. Realign the throttle trigger. Confirm that the linkage is attached to the throttle cable and that the cable is aligned with the groove in the cable guide. Then reattach the linkage to the trigger. Realign the engine cover. Replace the mounting screws to secure the cover. Rethread the spark plug. Be careful not to strip the threads by over tightening. Reattach the wire and boot to the plug. With the reassembly complete, turn the new on off switch to the on position, and your leaf blower should be ready for use. <laughs>